Hello friends, I hope all of you are doing well and good today. I welcome you to my YouTube channel, Basel Insurance Guide. First of all, I request you to kindly subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon button to get latest new uploaded videos on my channel directly to you. So let's start my today video on my YouTube channel, Basel Insurance Guide. My today video is going to about insurance and what you need to know. A simple guide on how insurance works so let's have a detailed overview on how insurance work by this simple guide so first of all is making insurance easy to understand so you can make good choices all the time life is full of risks and unexpected things can happen at any time and they can have a devastating effect on your life your family what you own are your liability and ability to earn a living that is why we have insurance it's one way that you can reduce the financial and emotional impacts should the worst happen but the world of insurance is complex customers are buying an intangible product that can often be confusing and complicated with the technical terminology, conditions, obligations, charges, and product documents with many pages outlining what you are, are not covered for. At the same time, insurance is an important part of your financial resilience and well-being. If you understand insurance, then you are able to make more informed choices about your finances and risk management practices so we have developed this guide to help break down the confusion georgia and complexity of the world of insurance and help answer questions you may have our aim is to make insurance easy to understand making it easier to make the right decisions when it comes to protecting what's important so number one is so what is insurance Insurance is a contract represented by a policy in which an individual or entity receives financial protection or reimbursement against losses from an insurance company. And as an individual, we react to risk in four ways. For example, you bought a car and you want to protect it from damage, you can avoid, accept, or reduce, or transfer it. So you can do any combination of these things to manage the risk of damage to your car and each one has different cost and benefits. But the last point is oh, why we have an insurance industry. So therefore insurance companies manage and transfer your risk by providing protection against a predictable event that may arise unexpectedly in return for the payment of a premium. Number two is how does insurance work? So with insurance you choose what you want to be protected against. Then you do your homework as not all insurance policies are the same but still talk to an advisor who can help you work. Throw your options before you choose your insurance. So getting insurance process is number one. Choose what to protect against and number two, do you have work and if you need talk to an advisor and then number three is insurance, calculate the risks and then an insurance policy is then issued to determine your premium. So then your chosen insurance calculates the risk and probability that the events to be insured will happen and the insurance provider or insurer will Determine the price you will need to pay your premium or subscription. An insurance policy is then issued and what's a legal contract between the policyholder, the person or company that gets the policy and the insurer, the insurance provider in which the person or company receives financial protection or reimbursement against losses from the insurance company. So insurance policies are offered in place for a specific period of time. This can be referred to as the policy term. 
there are a multitude of different types of insurance policies available price and terms will be based on the insurance perception of the risk but the core components of an insurance policy don't really change they are the premium or subscriptions the policy cover terms and conditions and access if any to select the best policy for your circumstances or needs it is important to understand them the premium the policy limit and the access and terms and conditions and duty of disclosure and number three is what insurance you need so to find out how much insurance you need ask yourself these five questions number one what is the risk or event that i would be insuring against and number two is what are the chances of it occurring and number three is what would happen and number three is how much would it cost and number five is who would be impacted once you have established these answers you can then work out what insurance are most important to you when you have to be badly affected by a loss even one that is not very likely to happen so remember these types of insurance that you need will depend on what you need to protect and what's important to you for example if you have children what that would happen to them if your child unexpectedly a life insurance payout could help make sure they are looked after financially or if you have a mortgage what would happen if you became too ill to work income or mortgage protection insurance could help cover your payments and living costs and number four is common types of insurance so here are some common types so number one is insurance insure what we own and home insurance and contents insurance and insuring our car and number two is insuring our health like medical insurance trauma and income protection insurance and mortgage protection insurance and disability insurance and number three is insure our lives like life insurance funeral insurance or funeral cover and number three is insuring our travels and then is what to consider when buying insurance so buying insurance is a big decision and can have huge implications on the quality of your life that's why you should approach the decision in an informed and calculated manner most people really only think about these insurance when a loss injury or accident has occurred this is the time you need financial assistance the most and your insurance company needs to come through for you with help you get treatment or provide a payout to get you back on track in life after all this is what you pay them for insurance is complex and not all insurance policies are the same it's easy to compare two policies on price but the cover you get may be different the cheapest policy isn't usually the best cover for your needs and it's important to compare able both the price and the level of coverage number six is to get the right advice so do you know that comparison sites are not always the best way to compare insurance policies some of the policies you will be offered can be fairly generic so if you want a policy that meets your individual circumstances it might be better to use a specialist a qualified financial advisor can help work out exactly exactly what you need cover for and customize insurance cover specifically for you so here are few reasons why going to financial advisor for insurance might be the best choice so number one is getting expert guidance does not cost you more so number two they know all the options and number three is they will find you the right product for you and number four is find specialized cover and number six is continue to support you after that at healthcare plus they have access to a nationwide team of moment financial advisors for over 30 years monument insurance has been healthcare plus appointed business partner to provide financial advice to healthcare plus members on life and health insurance so if you would like to talk to one of them for your area you can book a time for a free no obligation touch about your circumstances and what could be right for you 
So number seven is buying an insurance checklist. Without buying an insurance, having the necessary information gathered before and will make the process much easier. So before you commit to it, we suggest running through this checklist below. As number one is look at the insurer and their grant rating. And number two, choose the right access. And number three is be honest. And number four, read the policy carefully. And number five, don't double up. Number six, shop around. And number seven, combine insurance. And number eight, take precautions. And number nine, beware of buying insurance offered alongside something else. Now number ten is have you compared like what with like. And number eleven is review before you renew. And number 12 is read good to know insurance guide. So friends, this was my today video on my YouTube channel, Basel Insurance Guide, which is about to a simple guide on how insurance works. So I hope all of you now have a well and good idea about how insurance works. So I request you to please like, comment and share this video and also don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, Basel Insurance Guide. So friends, we will meet soon in my next video on my channel. So till then, kindly take care and have a good day.